There are 1.4 billion poor people in the world living on less than $1.25 a day. And there are exactly the same number, 1.4 billion, of overweight and obese people who have got too much food. And there's a kind of fundamental system problem in a society that produces equal numbers of people who eat too much and eat too little. When there are costs to be borne of the industrial economy, they are projected onto the weakest and the most marginalised members of society. People are displaced, evicted, or their rights are curtailed when protected areas are declared or any sort of conservation area is declared. We're facing situations where the environments are severely polluted by oil spills, by waste of dumping of chemicals, and by flaring of gas in the oil fields. These are things that destroy people's means of livelihood. Just the, the fact that sometimes governments want to make these decisions in a very closed door, behind the scenes way, and they don't want that kind of scrutiny from stakeholders that would be involved in having such an open participatory decision-making process. Today we're impacting future generations more than our ancestors ever could, but we don't give them a voice. So this is, to me, by far the biggest issue. Of course there are injustices today in the, in the world, but uh, the way we are behaving towards future generations I think is the biggest injustice for our organization. All of Africa lack democracy. And that reflects on almost every walk of life. Uh, the, the, the rulers do whatever they want to do without being questioned. Livelihood options should come first, then the, the forest will remain standing. But if we continuously see that conservation is a primary and human beings are secondary, then we'll be having the same continuous challenge. I would say uh, capitalist imperialism, uh, but which is kind of the root cause of most of these problems. Um, patriarchy, um, especially in South Africa, uh, government corruption. I think there's a misrecog absolute misrecognition of local communities, not only indigenous and peasant communities, actually urban communities too. It's like a patronizing situation where they ha are told what has to be done in their land, their territories. So I think uh, Recognition is a really deep thing to be addressed. One of the first things that needs to change is people's awareness and understanding and, and imagination about what's possible. To strengthen the capacity of in, from indigenous peoples, local actors, to make their views, their voices reach points where injustices can actually be dealt with. For us, justice is more a process of, of discovery of oppression and discovery of strategies for dealing with it. Justice can be achieved through more deliberation, more participation. We think those are very important. At least they provide an opportunity to air differences, to confront the various problems. But we also think that in order to achieve environmental justice and justice in general, there has to be a significant reallocation of resources and change of priorities. We need somehow to start to segue towards a world which is um, more equal, um, a world which thinks a lot longer term, uh, a world which doesn't just think about us. The challenge is how do we enforce legislation, how to ensure, how do we hold uh, polluters accountable. Ideally, you know, in my dream world, you have a global society which treats its, treats its weakest people well. At the moment, uh, you know, it, the hurdles are immense. But for me, a just future would be one which combines economic security with environmental stability. A future in which uh, people can not only survive but also thrive. Uh, it's not only about humans, but it's also about non-human living world and the rest of the planet by not exceeding the planetary boundaries and by respecting each other's uh, histories, each other's narratives, each other's stories. And we can end poverty just as previous generations ended slavery or ended the exclusion of women from the vote. It's a kind of generational task which we're involved in.